a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Manusi Chilla Manusi Chilla is an Indian model and the winner of the Miss World 2017 pageant. She represented the state of Haryana at the Feminine Miss India 2017 pageant, which she won. Chilla is the sixth Indian woman to win the Miss World pageant. She was signed up as a brand ambassador for Malabar Gold and Diamonds, one of the world's largest retail jewelry groups. Chilla was ranked number one in the list of the Times, 50 Most Desirable Women of India 2017. Early Life and Education Chilla was born in Rotag, Haryana. Her father, Dr. Mitra Basu Chilla, is a scientist at Defense Research and Development Organization while her mother, Dr. Neelam Chilla, is an associate professor and department head of neurochemistry at the Institute of Human Behavior and Allied Sciences. Chilla studied at St. Thomas School in New Delhi and was All India CBSE topper in English subject in class 12. She cleared the All India Pre-Medical Test and NEET exam in her first attempt, and is pursuing a medical degree at the Bhagat Phool Singh Medical College in Sonipat. She is a trained Kchipidi dancer, and has trained under legendary dancers Raja and Radha Reddy and Kausalya Reddy. Chilla has also attended the National School of Drama. Pageantry Chilla's journey in pageantry began with FBB Campus Princess 2017 where she was crowned one of the finalists from All India Institute of Medical Sciences Medical College during her college fest in December 2016. Thereafter, she went on to win the title of FBB Femina Miss India Haryana in April 2017. Chilla represented the state of Haryana in annual Femina Miss India competition and was crowned Femina Miss India 2017 in the finale held on 25 June 2017. During the competition, Chilla was crowned Miss Photogenic and went on to win the competition as well, earning the right to represent India at the Miss World 2017 competition. Miss World 2017 Chilla represented India at Miss World 2017, where she became a semi-finalist in the top model, People's Choice, and multimedia competitions, and was the winner of the head-to-head -head challenge from Group 9 and co-winner of the Beauty with a Purpose competition. She is fourth Beauty with a Purpose winner at Miss World from India. Chilla's Beauty with a Purpose project was Project Shakti. The campaign's goal is to spread awareness about menstrual hygiene. She visited about 20 villages for the project and treated over 5,000 women. On 18 November 2017, Chilla was crowned Miss World 2017 by outgoing title holder Miss World 2016 Stephanie Del Valle from Puerto Rico in the finals in Sanya, China. She became the sixth Indian woman to win the crown, and the first since Priyanka Chopra won Miss World 2000. Reina's Miss World as Miss World 2017, Chilla returned to India on 26 November, where she was greeted by a large crowd. A homecoming press conference was arranged for Chilla at St. Regis Hotel, Mumbai. She was one of the celebrity speakers at the 2017 Global Entrepreneurship Summit in Hyderabad. Chilla was announced as the brand ambassador for Anemia Free Haryana. Her Beauty with a Purpose campaign Project Shakti was given government aid of 18 crore rupees, ensuring free availability of sanitary napkins for all girls in the government schools of Haryana by Chief Minister of the State Manohar Lal Carter. She was honored with the Special Achievement Award at the 2017 CNN IBN Indian of the Year Awards for winning Miss World. She was also India's top trending personality on Google Search in 2017. She received Proud Maker of India Award at Six Sigma Healthcare Leadership Summit 2017 in New Delhi. She was also guest speaker at the 10th C4IO by Hewlett Packard Enterprise at Pushkar. She made a debut in 2018 edition of Annual Celebrity Calendar by leading Indian fashion photographer Dabu Ratnani. She made an appearance in special show Super Nights with Padman to promote her beauty with a purpose project on menstrual hygiene in association with Akshay Kumar's Padman. She graced the covers of Cosmopolitan India Mag February 2018 edition, Grazia India, March 2018 edition, L'Official India April 2018 edition and an Indonesian lifestyle magazine high and after her homecoming ceremony. Chilla's first visit was to London along with Julia Morley, the chairman and CEO of Miss World, then joined the royal honouring ceremony of Marsha A. Ratcliffe OBE, the past master of the Worshipful Company of Carmen.
The ceremony took place at the historic landmark of Trinity House directly opposite to the Tower of London. Chiller met and interacted with Caroline Ratcliffe, the mother-in-law of Marsha Ray Ratcliffe. At the ceremony, Chiller also met Her Royal Highness Princess Michael of Kent, a member of the British royal family, and they talked about Princess Michael's various visits to India. Lady Wilnelia Forsyth Johnson, former Miss World, from Puerto Rico was also a VIP guest along with Chiller at the event. Manusi also joined the guests in a traditional Cockney song, Side by Side. During her stay in the United Kingdom, Chiller visited the Warner Brothers Harry Potter studio in Leavesden, where all the eight movies of the Harry Potter film series was filmed. Chiller returned to India, and attended the launch event of Audi Q5 cars held in Delhi. Later, she reached the Bennett University in Greater Noida and interacted with its faculty. In a session organized by the university, she answered the questions put forward by the students. She also joined them in a game of badminton and basketball. In February 2018, she started the first leg of her Beauty with a Purpose tour with Miss World 2017 Continental winners Magline Geruto, Haun Kim, Annie Evans, Stephanie Hill, Solange Sinclair, Andrea Meza and Miss World 2016 Stephanie Del Valle at the first global edition of Feminine Hygiene Awareness Campaign in Hyderabad in collaboration with Government of Telangana. They continued the campaign at Kolkata, where Bengal Chamber of Commerce and Industry hosted a special other session on feminine hygiene in association with Miss World Beauty with the Purpose World Tour team. They visited New Light NGO in slum area of Kolkata and also learned to make low-cost biodegradable sanitary pads at the Jute Industries Research Association. The team further worked on spreading awareness about menstruation and ensuring the availability of sanitary pads in rural areas. They joined hands with Arkar Innovations, an NGO that works on the same issue, to create more low-cost biodegradable sanitary napkins. She also visited Mumbai's Dharavi slum area for Save the Girl Child event. Manusi, along with the Miss World team, also met Mapavera Puvenkaya Naidu, the Vice President of India, and Shushma Swaraj, Minister of External Affairs, to discuss her beauty with a purpose project. She visited Indian cities Hyderabad, Kolkata, Mumbai and Delhi for her 42-day beauty with a purpose tour. Chiller along with Miss World Team were invited by China Central Television to star in the biggest live event Chinese New Year's Gala at China, and later landed in Indonesia in continuation with the humanitarian tour. During her stay in Indonesia, Manusi visited the Golden Bridge, a beauty with a purpose project which was completed by Miss Indonesia 2014, Maria Raajeng participated in humanitarian activities and also crowned Miss Indonesia 2018, the representative of Indonesia for Miss World 2018. After this, Chihila along with the Miss World team landed in the British Virgin Islands. They met the governor of British Virgin Islands and worked to raise funds for the Beauty with the Purpose project of Miss British Virgin Islands 2017, Helena Hewlett. They were physically involved in the cleaning campaign of Eslin Henley Richie's school, the only school for differently abled children in British Virgin Islands territory which was destroyed by Hurricane Maria and raised money for its restoration. Her next stop was the USA, where she was a presenter and a performer for a 16-hour TV show, 44th Variety Children's Charity Telethon held at Iowa, and aired on ABC and raised $3.76 million in association with Variety Telethon team for the annual fundraiser which donates its proceeds to underprivileged children. She was felicitated at South Asian Women Empowerment Gala held on International Women's Day in New York along with other women achievers and also joined as a presenter for South Asian Empowerment Awards. The first part of her beauty with a purpose tour ended with her United States visit. After returning to India, she was one of the guest speakers at the Economic Times Women's Forum 2018. In April 2018, she was announced as the brand ambassador for one of the world's largest retail jewelry groups Malabar Gold and Diamonds. She was also featured in a television commercial for Malabar Gold and Diamonds beside the famous Bollywood actress Kareena Kapoor. The commercial received 3.5 million views on YouTube on the first day of its release. Manusi reached Brazil in continuation of her humanitarian tour. She visited the government palace in the state of Sao Paulo where she was welcomed by First Lady of the State, Professor Lucia Franca. She discussed various social projects supported by the state of Sao Paulo with Manusi, Chiller, 
along with Gabriel Villela Mississippi World Brazil 2017, initiated an awareness program to prevent and fight against leprosy. According to Chiller, the aim was to teach people about the early signs of the disease and the ways to seek treatment. She also met and interacted with the children from the Apoi, an organization that primarily works towards the welfare of children suffering from Down syndrome. She attended the charity gala arranged by Apoi and gave a presentation on behalf of the organization. To the governor of the Federal District of Brasilia, Rodrigo Rollenberg. She highlighted the works done by the organization and requested the governor to help build a new third floor to the Apoi Hospital, so that all the children with Down syndrome in the state could be helped. Manusi walked the ramp with one of the students suffering from Down syndrome during the event. Chihila was invited by Foreign Affairs Chairman, Congressman Nielsen Pinto and the National Defense Committee and was honored by the Parliament of Brazil for her humanitarian works. On 1 May 2018, Manusi landed in the Ninoy Aquino International Airport in Manila, Philippines, where she was welcomed by Arnold Del Vigafria the national director of Miss World Philippines. She was then joined by Laura Lerman, Miss World Philippines 2017 and Rohit Kandelwal for the press presentation and inauguration of the 10th edition of Mr. World Contest held in the Philippines. Chiller and Kandelwal were invited by the CNN Philippines broadcast channel for an interview. Chiller became the most desirable woman of India by ranking number one in the list of the Times 50 Most Desirable Women 2017. At the World Menstrual Hygiene Day on May 28, Chihila joined hundreds of women in a three kilometers walk through the streets of Delhi, in searing temperatures, to create social awareness. The walk was organized by sustainable sanitary pad manufacturer Zakar, in association with the Municipal Corporation of Delhi. On July 3, thousands of cyclists made it to the streets of Delhi celebrating the World Bicycle Day. Chihila stood along with the Vice President of India. Venkaya Naidu and Minister of Science and Technology, Harsh Vardhan as they waved the flag, at the starting line. Manusi, being a medical student, promoted the health benefits of cycling. She indicated that cycling can reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases, obesity and type 2 diabetes. Chihila reached New Zealand as part of the Beauty with a Purpose campaign. She landed in the Auckland International Airport and was welcomed by Maori tribal dancers. Chihila along with the Miss World team reached Ronald McDonald House in Auckland, a non-profit organization that aids support for children suffering from illness. She joined the volunteers at the charity house for a kid's cook-in. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries Would you like to know more?